Caravan Salon 2019. This is the uh, range from Illusion for 2020. This vehicle here is an XMK650. Uh, let's have some details on it. Well, it costs 56,000 euros. It is uh, semi-integrated, that's quite clear. And it's 679 centimeters long by 235 wide. It's a height of 285, and uh, as you can possibly see, it's on a Fiat Ducato. It has around 500 kilos of payload. Now, Illusion is a company based in Spain. It's comparatively young. I think it's about 15 years old or thereabouts. And um, so it's a smaller uh, firm, uh, I would say. Um, you do see one or two of their vans. I've seen, uh, I've seen a couple in Poland. I've seen a couple in Germany. Indeed, at the trade fair in Essen, uh, which I visited in February, of 2019 actually filmed uh, some rather unusual designs there and i'd say that this is a rather unusual design as well on that subject of unusual unusuality right so got a bed at the back but as you can see there's also a bed at the front which drops down which actually i missed as i was coming in i didn't notice it was there that's a good sign because i don't like beds over the dinette as a rule as long as it well if they get in my way of my head here i can stand under this it's not only is it not getting under in the way of my head but also there's plenty of light which is a uh is a good thing table is a bit on the small side could be bigger in my opinion uh, there's also there's a step down here as well as you as you walk as you walk down here now, uh, what really stands out, though, is uh, is the following. Okay, here we have a it's not Spanish, so it's kind of a place to keep your wine. It's in there. <gasps> when I bought my current van, it was something like that inside, and uh, although I mean it didn't look like that, it was uh, much worse. I think that person who put that in there was kept kept his beer in there. Uh, let's have a look down here. A space there for something else, and this for those that want an enormous kitchen. I mean, you can't get much bigger than that. I mean, this in a vehicle of this size. Uh, well, I can think of a couple of vans that have uh, kitchens uh, which are of this size, but uh, there's not many. So, for those who are a bit into the gourmet sort of thing, that might be suitable. Right uh, there, also, you've got your. Uh, switches for the bed so the bed will go up and down depending on uh, uh, where you want the bed to be uh, there you've also got your heating and uh, there you've got uh, 12 volt and 230 right let's have a look down here three good money I think I knew that before opening it. Uh, oh, and it's a nice big sink as well. So, um, I'd say for those who really want to do a spot of cooking, that isn't bad at all. got a, a ledge a sill at the back down here is a, a sill a correct word in English it's my dialect it's, anyway it's one of these things here um, huge amount of stories in them boxes yeah there's a third one there Okay, that, that's part of the bed. Place up there, possibly for the television. And there's your wardrobe.
actually I'm going to film with this thing here. But, oops, oh, I'm locked in now. Uh, it's not the camera this time, this time it's the gimbals run out of uh, energy. Right, but anyway, this gives me the opportunity to demonstrate how much space there is in the shower. Not only that, you've got a pretty deep ledge. Look how fine deep that. So you, fill, you could fill that with water, get a plastic duck and be hours of entertainment. Shore power. Obviously, I've been hanging out with Americans too long, start using American words. Uh, that's hook up in British English. And you got a bit of storage up there as well. Um, I don't like the size of the table, but other than that, it's, uh, it's quite nice. I mean, I don't know how good it would be in the cold, of course. The insulation. All right, let's have a look around the outside. Alright, so we've got a small garage there. Let's have a let's have a walk around. It says always moving. I suppose that's a good sign. Illusion. It's just an illusion. Could it be that in all this confusion? Hey, while we're here, I'll just have a quick uh, show you a, quick, a couple of others. Uh, but just quickly, we'll walk in. This one costs 57,000. And it's a sort of a typically sort of German layout with two beds at the back and some drawers underneath. 714. 58,000 in excess of. 740 XMK. Oh. Double beds at the back. Oh, sorry, single joinable at the back. Uh, got a bed above me. Fifty one thousand six hundred and seventy seven. Five ninety six meter van, this one. Oh, now that is unusual in a six meter van. Very unusual in a six meter van. Well done. Yeah, that's, that really is more very unusual. <laughs> Get the weight is sorry, not the weight. The the width is two hundred and thirty-five. Uh, yeah, yeah, that really is an unusual van. This one is fifty-two and a half thousand. It is six meters as well. This is more traditional. I think this would be the one for me to be honest, although we've got the, the, the fridge next to the bed. Mm. 
wardrobe, storage in the steps, large bathroom. You know what, this doesn't look like six meters at all, it looks much bigger. Ah, oh, extra bed up there. Yeah, I must congratulate them on this one, it really does look big. Anyway, we'll do this one in a different film, I think. I don't see they want, they want to go, rather than having me in here filming the van, doing the sales for them. So, uh Right, uh, good, um, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll just show you this Mercedes as well. because so I've got this thing here, which uh, admittedly isn't for sale yet, but uh, it's a Mercedes uh, base. I'm obviously gonna be looking for something closer to 90,000 for this. Oh, and what's it curious here is that you can close the whole kitchen. Oh, and a moulded um, sink as well. Oh, I won't do it, sorry, but you can close it. Okay then, so I'll uh, close if you found that of interest, uh, please um, do consider subscribing and um, you might want to also uh, support, give me some support on Patreon and there's a link up there now should you so want to do. Thanks for watching.